Sports Desk. The racing weekend is officially underway at the Bristol Motor Speedway with two races tonight. Here to bring us up to speed on all of the action is News Channel 11 Sports Kane O'Neill, who joins me live from the track. Kane? Yeah, and Kenny, history was made tonight as the truck series hit the high banks for the first time ever in primetime. Christopher Bell starting on the pole for Thursday's race. Bell subbing in for Harrison Burton, who was sick this week. Lap 26, Corey Roper goes around, coming out of turn one, the second caution flag of the night. On the ensuing restart, John Hunter Nemechek going to the outside of Bell and sliding himself into the lead, and Nemechek hanging on to win the opening stage of the race. On the first green flag lap after stage one, Todd Gilliland makes contact with Jesse Little and going through the spin cycle in turn four, the yellow flag dropping again. But no one was getting past Nemechek in stage two either, hanging on to win the opening two stages of the race. To lap 177, Johnny Sauter, your leader, but here comes Nemechek using lap traffic to go around Sauter on the outside and sliding back into the lead. Five laps to go. Sauter says, I'll take that lead back. Thank you. Sliding to the inside of Nemechek to get to the front of the field. And Sauter, the regular season champion, capturing the checkered flag in the regular season finale at Bristol. Awesome. Obviously, you know, you dream to have a season like we're having right now. And, and we sit here with five wins. And not to be greedy, but I feel like we should have seven. So I'm um, just so proud of everybody at GMS. And uh, this GMS Fabrication Chevrolet was awesome tonight. Such a historic and cool place. And uh, I consider myself a short track racer. And to get a win at such a place like this, uh, I've been coming here for so many years trying. And uh, to get this win is, is really, really sweet. So here's a look at your top 10. Sauter first, Stuart Friesen second. John Hunter Nemechek finishing in third. Parker Kligerman, who was driving the, for the local team of Food Country, finishing in fourth. Todd Gilliland finishing in fifth. Justin Haley, sixth. Ben Rhodes finishing in seventh. Matt Crafton is eighth. Noah Gragson, ninth. And Grant Enfinger rounding out your top 10. And the Whelan Modified Series hit the track prior to the Truck Series this evening. We'll pick things up on lap 53. Justin Bonson, you're going to the outside of Patrick Emerling and taking over the lead. And a few laps later, Emerling going for a spin out of turn number one, bringing out the caution flag. To lap 89, Tommy Solomito, your leader. But here comes Bonson, again going to the inside and sliding himself to the front of the pack. And six laps later, Solomito gets loose in turn four, trying to correct it, but loses control and going through the spin cycle, bringing out the caution flag. But Bonsignor had the car to beat today, and once he got the lead, he wasn't giving it back, hanging on for his first wheeling race at Bristol. It's really surreal. You know, you look around at this stadium, you know, and, and there's people everywhere, and we're up on top of this roof. We've been coming here for a bunch of years, and all we wanted to do was win this race and uh, finally be able to do it. So I'm sure it won't sink in uh, until maybe the ride home tonight, but uh, we're going we're gonna to definitely enjoy this one for sure. So the first night of racing is now in the books, and we turn our attention to the Xfinity Series. That race is supposed to get underway at 7.30. Hopefully, Mother Nature will cooperate. Right now, reporting at Bristol Motor Speedway, Kane O'Neill, News Channel 11 Sports. Kenny?